Welcome to Unscripted Coding. Today we're going to do kind of a silly video. We're going to try and bot too good to go to try and automatically check something out. Uh, I don't think this is ethically cor correct, but I wanted to do it as an exercise to see how you would go about it. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, Too Good To Go is an app where you can order the, the food from restaurants or cafes at the end of the day. Um, the idea is, you know, a, a bakery might have a couple loaves of bread left and they put it on the app for four or five dollars and they'll just sell you the entire lot. Um, as you can imagine, they're scarce. Uh, there are certainly some restaurants or cafes that do a better job than others. And it's become incredibly hard for me to, to get the, the, the desserts that I really enjoy locally. So um, I suspect somebody must be botting it. And I wanted to see how, when, what, where, um, because, you know, just like when people were buying PS5s or graphics cards, um, it's interesting because somebody is is creating these tools to, to cheat the system. And out of curiosity, we have to figure out how. So the first thing I did was go on go on Google. And, and there are definitely people who think there are bots, and I agree. And so the next step, I'd go on GitHub, see if there's anything too good to go. And uh, it seems like there are people that have packaged the too good to go API. It's not meant to be exposed. There's no documentation, but uh, they must have uh, engineered it, they must have tracked their traffic through their phone and, and figured out what it's hitting. And so I think this one uh, is a better one. But what's surprising, and I suppose shouldn't be surprising, is that the ability for you to do anything is quite limited. You could create an account, log in, get some information, but at the end of the day, you can't book or buy anything, and that shouldn't surprise anyone. Um, you don't expose that kind of information, that kind of ability to anyone with, you know, a, a computer. So the chances are there's all sorts of security to check. Um, so this is no go. This is helpful if you want to build a database, you want to find out what what is in the app, but you can't actually bot it with this too good to go Python um, uh, package. But the next one I found is somebody is actually selling the service. Uh, again, I feel pretty pretty awful about the fact that this exists, but uh, it does. And what's interesting here is that there is two automatic bookings per month, meaning that they have somehow created a system by which they can um, they can automatically book. And it's obviously not that GitHub page that we saw. If you take a look online, you actually get some hints. Um, I don't have the page open, but I was looking around and they say it takes up to a minute between when, when they notify you for the automatic booking. Now that's way too slow, but what it tells me is that potentially they have two different systems. Something like this API to keep track and tell you when something is up and then another system to actually book. And this is where I think um, the easiest way is actually to just go on your phone and create a system with um, Tasker or some other kind of macro. And that's where my time was spent. Very, very briefly here, um, I'm going to pull up my phone. Right here, I'm showing you two different things. Uh, I have here uh, Mac Droid, which is kind of like a Tasker. It's a little friendlier, and I just found it um, earlier. And what these things do is they allow you to have a trigger. So this red portion up here will give you a trigger. Uh, you can see at the top, let me use my mouse instead here, at the top, um, you have a trigger. And for me, I know that uh, my favorite store opens at 8 o'clock every Thursday. They put out a package. Um, others are not so fortunate. Uh, they may come at random times. That's where you have to be a bit more clever, and that's probably why there was time 
uh, delay involved in that service because they have to have a tracker to notify, send some kind of command to a phone, a tablet, uh, maybe a virtual phone or tablet. Uh, I've also put down Shake Device, that's for testing purposes so that I can see where the clicks are. And then I have a click at uh, a certain XY coordinate and that will click this button here. Um, there are constraints as well. I thought this would be good. Um, this should only work if too good to go is open. But um, that's only part of it. What I found was that MacDroid's clicking UI uh, actually didn't work with the app. They must have some sort of um, some sort of detection feature. So the next thing I had was this auto clicker. If you just search up auto clicker on um, on on the Google Play Store, you're going to find a whole bunch of them. But this is where it's really cool. Basically. Um, you can tap the plus sign over here on the side and you get these extra buttons. Um, and basically these map to either taps or holds or, or slides. <clears throat> and you can see that at the very bottom here, I have clustered one, two, and three. I want to tap three times the screen to get to the checkout page. Um, and they're, they're in the locations where the buttons are. The other thing is that if you click any one of these, you have a bit of a time delay. Now, too good to go because of the animations. You have to figure out the right delay to match up with the animations. So if you click play, the blue play button here, it will tap one, two, and three. Now, this doesn't do anything on Macdroid, but let me show you very quickly when I pull up too good to go here. Uh, let's say big orange right here, I'm going to go click play. Oh, that didn't work. Let me click that again. <clears throat> and you can see that it dragged up all of those information. It, it, it got to the checkout point. Um, I can continue getting those clicks to make sure that it checks out perfectly, but I obviously don't want you guys seeing my credit card information and all that. But you can see very quickly, very simply with off-the-shelf apps off the Play Store, you can create a bot that is fairly effective. And so um, I thought this was a lot of fun to, to just see how I would be building one of these things and save $4.99 instead. Um, but don't do this. Uh, I don't think this is a great way to, to uh, up the ante with uh, other people who are looking to, to buy some cheap food off the app. Um, but uh, you can think of lots of day-to-day -day things that are useful if you want to respond to emails, if you want to send out text messages at certain times. Uh, these macro tools and these auto clickers are really, really useful. And you can be very clever about chaining them together so that um, you, you uh, use MacDroid to detect certain things. If you enter a certain location, a GPS location, if your battery goes down a certain amount, if uh, your screen turns on, if it's 12 o'clock at night, um, you have those things trigger uh, and then tap uh, the auto clicker to set up the next chain of events. Anyways, I hope that was interesting. Um, I had a lot of fun trying to figure out how these people are doing it. Um, and I hope that was uh, interesting for you as well. Uh, let me know in the comments below if uh, you enjoyed watching this video. If not, also let me know. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.